Hello everyone, welcome to Programming Knowledge. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn about Django with Mongo. So basically, in today's tutorial, we are going to connect the Django with MongoDB, and I will uh, illustrate uh, all the process how you can uh, create a MongoDB database and how you can connect that MongoDB database with your Django application. So let's get started with today's tutorial. The first thing we need to do, we can open our code editor, and then we need to type the command pip install Django so this would install the Django on our local machine and with this command we can uh, create a Django project as well as a Django app on our machine then uh, then I would like to tell you that uh, till the time this is being installed on my machine what you can do yeah here you can see that it is installing Django on my machine and you can install Django with the simple command pip install Django and then we have a MongoDB plus I will show you how the we can go here you can refer to this website uh, first this is the uh, website for Django I have already told you how you can install Django then this is the website from here you can install the MongoDB community edition and this works as a interface with you uh, uh, with the MongoDB database as a user interface uh, very similar to phpMyAdmin uh, uh, which is used for SQL then this is the uh, package we are going to use this package has a very similar name Django the word Django is derived from uh, like uh, uh, this is used to connect Django with MongoDB uh, so Django is the package we are going to use so let's get back to our code editor so first what you can do you can connect your to the uh, connect to the local host server using this MongoDB compass community edition and you can click on the connect button then this would connect to the local host now here you can see that it has been connected to the local host now what you can do you can create your own database so let's click on here uh, so first okay, let's continue with the installation part so after installing uh, after installing django you can install pip install django so this is the command we are going to use to connect with the package this is the package we are going to use to connect Django with the MongoDB database so it's very easy so uh, till the time it's being installed yeah it's a very easy process and next what we can do then we can create a Django project and then we would uh, I will show you how you can make a migration in your app then how the how we, and you can change see the changes reflected in the MongoDB database so let's what we what we can do uh, next uh, what I have so then we have to make some uh, changes in your settings.py file I'll also come to that then you can uh, see the changes on the mongodb com uh, compass so that's very easy so let's create our Django project so I'll type Django admin start project a demo project so I'll, I'll create a project then what you can do you can open a folder and I have created this project on my desktop so here I can open it so now the project is open on my VS code so next thing you can do you will I will navigate you to the uh, settings.py file so you can press ctrl.p and settings.py file so this would uh, simply uh, direct you to the settings.py file and here you can see that there is a section for databases so we would be doing this and I will open my terminal as well so we would be connecting this uh, so what we can do uh, first since we have installed Django now what we can do first uh, we'll create a database I will show you like from here you can disconnect and connect so I'll show you again here you first you disconnect then you can click on connect so this would connect you to the localhost database and now click on create database and type demo database demo database and you can give a collection name a demo collection so I would click on create database so here you can uh, just copy uh, you can uh, keep this as a referral demo database so and demo collection so I'll click on create database so here you can see a database has been created and which is uh, having a just a demo collection right now but what we can do uh, we uh, will connect to the, our, uh, our project 
and then run the app so i'll sorry run the migration so what you can do you can simply copy this and you can paste this code i'll comment this out databases so i'll put triple quotes here so this would basically comment this section triple quotes and now i would paste this uh, you can do one thing uh, you can remove this client part because you are right now dealing with the local host and by default it would detect this so uh, now you need to define your database name so i would define my database oh sorry so my database name is this this is my database demo database so i'll move to this here and i'll type demo data base okay so this looks perfect now uh, since i'm uh, my connection is on so i'll type a uh, python manage dot py make migrations and this would make the migrations in my uh, database so so it says no changes detected so uh, now i can type python manage dot py migrate so here you can see the all the uh, migrations uh, are being applied so here you can see the migrations has been applied now i would move to my database and i'll click on the refresh button and here you can see and i click on the demo database perfect so i have got all the migrations of the django here in my mongodb database so <coughs> this looks perfectly fine so you can create your models and then run the previous two command that is migrate and migrations and then you are get to go with this uh, project running so Thank you guys for watching this video. So I'll catch up in the next tutorial. So here you can see I have made the project. Uh, you can also do one thing. Uh, you can type python manage dot ui run server. So this would run the app on your local machine. So you can simply uh, copy this and you can uh, paste this on your browser. And here you can see your Django project is perfectly running. So everything looks perfect. So this is how I made the settings in my database. Uh, this is the uh, MongoDB collections what I've got. And uh, this the project is already running. So this looks perfect. So thank you guys for watching this video. So, uh, so uh, keep watching this channel for many such tutorials.